Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jill with At Home with Jill. I'm showing you how messy the living room is and just how like cluttered everything looks. Um, I am doing a major decluttering in here today, so stay tuned for that. Right now, I'm just showing you what my kids are up to outside when I'm about to get started on cleaning. They were having a blast out here after we finished school today. Oh, you're pretty, girl. Oh, you're pretty fluffy girl. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Get off your neck. Get off. Get off. Hi. Hi. Yes. You dirty girl. You're a dirty girl, huh? I love you. I love you. This is the kids' little painting area. So, yes, it is a huge mess, but it's okay. It's a constructive mess. It's a creative mess, and I love what they're doing right now. All right, time to go in and clean. All righty, so here we are, gonna do the dang thing. This day after school, I had such a hard time making myself get going because I was just exhausted. Um, the time of the month is coming in just a couple days, and I'm always so tired um, before that it's like an extreme fatigue that hits me um, and so I was like laying in bed and I kept dozing off and dozing off and I finally drank some coffee way too late in the day because it's gonna keep me up all night tonight but that's okay because I I literally needed it like I could not move without it so I made coffee I actually dozed back off while I was drinking the coffee and then finally made myself get up and the coffee started coffeeing for sure so originally I just wanted to like move the couches and get the rug really clean and get the floor clean underneath and behind and everything and you guys I have just I've struggled with this rug so much um, I'm going to take a break from it. Originally, I was just going to get it nice and clean, but my vacuum like literally like sucks it up and it is such a pain in the butt. Stuff gets under it. Stuff gets in between the rug and the mat. Um, I can't just slide my couches or my ottomans around like I want. It's a huge pain in the butt to do anything to move the furniture around. So I'm going to take a break. I'm going to see if I can live without the rug. For now, I'm just, I folded it up and I'm going to put it away. Um, but I'm going to see if I can live without it because like I said, it's just like, it's a pain in the butt. It is just such a pain in the butt. You will see me struggling with it because like at this point in the video, I didn't know I was going to get rid of it yet. I was like, thinking I was just going to vacuum it and it was good, but no. Okay. Anyway, real quick, I wanted to tell you guys about my new trash can. This is the season step trash can. It's a 13 gallon kitchen trash, stainless steel. There's a stainless steel step. It has this nice sleek lid and I love the foot pedal. I love all of it. I love the soft clothes. Le soft closing lid so it doesn't like slam down or anything like that it has this really smooth brushed finish which I absolutely love it is just so smooth and sleek and it's so pretty it just looks so good in here the best part is it is a single there's just one trash can not two different sections or anything like that Another important feature for me in a trash can is that my normal Costco trash bags that we have been buying for years work with the trash can, and these do. Um, in the last trash can I had, these bags were way too big for the oddly shaped um, bin in the last one. So I love that this takes up the whole space so there's no room for food to get stuck underneath or anything like that. Um, as you can see, my kids already made it dirty, but look, I mean, I had chicken hands and then this was me throwing away stuff from when my daughter got sick. This is me cleaning up dinner effort effortlessly. I can't talk tonight. Oh my gosh. All right. And here I am dumping some nasty chicken that was in the fridge way too 
long. And let me tell you, it does not smell good. And the best part is the lid shuts and you don't smell the fumes all day That's what I, from whatever's in the trash. And when you have the five-month-old veggies rotten in your fridge, you just toss it in there with ease. All right, and if you're anything like me and have a bunch of kiddos that do stuff in the kitchen, it's going to get messy. But fear not because it was very, very easy to clean. So I literally just sprayed some soap on it, cleaned it up with a wet washcloth and then dried it and it came out looking so good. Also, the reason I had to like wash it with soap was because there was yogurt spilled all over it. But I imagine if you're just cleaning up like handprints or fingerprints or whatever, stuff like that, even like a window cleaner would work really well. Or if you have stainless steel cleaner um, that you use like on your fridge, that would work too. So anyway, I literally love this thing so much. It is just so nice. So yeah, look how pretty she's looking now. Look how shiny and beautiful she is looking now. Um, also, also, Season says that this trash can is fingerprint proof, anti-rust, and effortlessly cleaning. You can also, it has like a little locking feature so you can leave the lid propped open if you need to. And um, it's 13 gallons, 50 liters, and it could fit a 16 inch extra large pizza box inside. So, I mean, what more could you need? Am I right? Another thing I love is that it has this super convenient handle on the back for carrying it around. So I like to bring it in the living room if I'm, or whatever room I'm decluttering in. Like if I'm decluttering or cleaning up a room, I like to bring it with me. And so I love that it has this handle on the back. It just makes carrying it so much easier. All right, guys, that trash can is gonna be linked in my description box. Let's get back on into this video. All right, so it is here that you are going to start seeing the vacuum getting in a fight with the rug. And I was getting very, very frustrated and was finally like, you know what? It's coming out. It's coming out. And then I will be able to slide the couch all around the room so I can clean underneath it, behind it, and all of that good stuff. And then what's even better is that I can move the ottomans around with ease every day of my life if this rug is not here. Um, the ottomans, well, first of all, this whole sectional and the ottomans are extremely heavy. I'm telling you, extremely heavy, like so heavy. Um, so to not be able to slide the ottomans where I want them is such a pain in the butt. I usually have to have somebody help me move them. Like one person gets on one side, I get on the other and we lift and, and move it. It's a pain in the butt, you guys. It's a huge pain in the butt. I love to be able to like slide it around wherever I need it and then slide it back or whatever. So anyway, as you can imagine, there was so much dirt and pencils and just junk under the rug, under the couches, everywhere. So I'm just kind of cleaning as I go. So when I first pulled it out and folded it up like that, it like poofed dust and dirt everywhere. So I wanted to sweep all that up. Then I laid it back out. I attempted to vacuum it again. Don't ask me why. I thought like, oh, I'll get it nice and clean before I fold it up. Whew. I was so annoyed with it. Also, let me just say though, if my stick vacuum was working, the stick vacuum does a good job vacuuming it. It's just this corded vacuum has such good suction that it doesn't work <laughs> on these kinds of rugs. Um, so anyway, maybe once my stick vacuum is working again, maybe I'll lay the rug back out. I don't know. For now, I'm, I'm putting it away. I'm, I'm putting it on a time out, <laughs> basically. So anyway, once this is out here, I'm cleaning this area of the floor again, and then I can move furniture and clean underneath. So 
anyway, I hope this video is motivating for you guys. Also, I just wanted to say thank you to anyone who subscribed during my last video. I put that little message up saying how I'm trying to hit a goal of 20,000 subscribers. I'm at 15,000 and I want to be at 20,000 and I'm thinking maybe once I hit 20,000, I'll do a really cool like giveaway of some sort for you guys um to try to give back to to one of you um and so yeah i just wanted to let you guys know like um a, in my back end on youtube i'm able to see that i have um people that return to watch all my videos that haven't subscribed and i get it because when I watch YouTube, I forget to subscribe to people I like. And I'll watch the same channels all the time. And I realize later down the road, like, oh, wow, I never even subscribed to them. It's because YouTube learns what you like and they'll show you it no matter what. Um, but it helps me out if you're actually subscribed. And so since it's free to you, I figured I might as well just start reminding people to subscribe and asking for people to subscribe since it doesn't cost you anything um but yeah i'm trying to hit twenty thousand, so um that's my goal i would love to hit it by the end of the year this year um i just think that would be really cool it'd be a really cool milestone and yeah it would just be exciting so thank you guys who subscribed in the last video and if you haven't yet please do so. Um, yeah. And if you want, you can leave me a comment to let me know that you are a new subscriber. I would love that. I would love to get to say hi to you and thank you. Um, so yeah. But anyways, I also decided it's time for this air conditioner to go. It's going to go back in storage because I'm pretty sure we're done with the crazy, crazy heat waves. I hope. <laughs> but we have not been needing the air conditioner. It hasn't been getting hot enough in the house to actually need to turn this thing on. Um, like it hasn't been getting over 85 in the house, I don't think. And so we've just been, you know, comfortable in here. And um, at night, it's cooling down a lot. So we just we open everything up and it really cools down our house in the evening, which is really nice. It makes it easier to sleep and everything. So I decided this thing, it's just driving me crazy. It's extra clutter, you know? I hate that we have to have an air conditioner that takes up floor space. I would love to have central air soon. And I think once, I think when we start doing the kitchen, like actually working on it, um, we are going to work an air conditioner into that project as well and possibly a whole house fan too because um, i've heard whole house fans along with the mini split air conditioners are an amazing combination and work so well So I also decided it was time to declutter inside of these ottomans because that's another reason they're super heavy. I mean, not only are they made out of solid wood, um, the lid included, the lid has wood on the bottom of it and then a cushion on top. So they're super heavy already. But then we had tons and tons of board games in here that are not getting used. And I did use the charter funds to order all these games. So thankfully I did not like waste a bunch of money on them. Um, 
but I think the problem is I just ordered too many games at once. No one is trying them out. No one's playing them. Like it's too overwhelming because we have so many. So I decided to just keep a few. I'm going to return all of the this stack of games to the charter school. Um, some of them aren't even opened. Like they're still in the cellophane wrapper. Um, but I just figured maybe, you know, we'll play with the games that we end up keeping. We'll just keep a couple. So, you know, we're more likely to actually play those. And then maybe when we get tired of them, we'll order some more and pass the other ones along. I don't know. But basically, I just had too many games. They were never going to get used. I know it. Like, I just know it. Uh, they're mostly like educational games. And we spend so much time doing homeschool as it is that when we do end up playing games, we usually just end up playing card games, like with regular decks of cards. Cade and I love playing Nerts together, and we love playing Hand and Foot. Actually, Stella plays that with us now, too. Um, we're just more of like a card game, like a simple card game family. Um, and so all these board games are just taking up space, and it's it's just too much. So anyway, it was really nice to get the Ottomans decluttered. Um, and now I'm doing this area. This area is really bad. So this whole wall unit houses our homeschool stuff. Okay. So keep in mind, we are using a ton of this stuff every single day. And then a lot of times the kids are the ones that clean up the living room. And so they, they just kind of put all their school books like up on the counter, like no one, well, I can't say no one because some of my kids do put their school books back away where they go, but then the littler ones just stick everything up there. They like, there's markers everywhere, headphones, like whatever, like there's just stuff that gets stashed up there because they're kind of in a hurry to clean the living room or whatever. So every once in a while, I have to do this all, all over again, like put everything in its place, throw away the trash, you know, throw away the drawings that are accumulating up here that no one needs to keep, um, you know, all that random stuff. And then it's also a catch all. So like I'll stick like my sunglasses here or hair clips, um, cups, and whatever like it becomes a catch-all so anyway i try every once in a while to just come through and give it a nice tidy and declutter and i realized today that it only took 30 minutes to get it looking really nice again and so i can definitely do this every day because if it took 30 minutes when I hadn't done it for three days, imagine I could probably get it done in 10 minutes a day. So I need to just make that part of like my after school checklist. Like every day after school, I organize all the school stuff again so that we're ready for the next day. Because what happens is we start our school days with it looking like this. And then two, my two youngest can never find their school books ever. They can never find what they need. I have to get up and search for it. And then I always find it, but still it's such a pain. So if I took 10 minutes at the end of each school day to put it all away, then that means the next day when we go to start school, everyone can find their stuff, which is so much more efficient, right? So anyway, little notes to self that I need to keep up in my memory bank and remember to do.
perfect as you are Just the way you are Keep on shining You're perfect as you are So it's hard to tell because I was just walking back and forth to the trash can throughout this entire thing, but I ended up throwing away so much stuff and was able to really do a good decluttering up here. All right, I still need to do a lot more here, but I'm done for the night. Alrighty, here is the room, all clean and tidy. I'm so excited. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing and um, I hope this motivated you. Thank you again for just being here and supporting my channel. You guys, it means the world to me. I would not have my channel without you. So thank you all so much and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.